Alrighty, we're going to put some brand new circuit breakers in here. We're going to update this panel. We have an older style 20 here. And uh, this is a brand new one here. So we'll cut this off, pull it out. The newer type circuit breaker has the uh, square screwdriver, number two square. So we'll put our wire in the hole like that. We'll tighten it up. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we'll put it back in. Okay, we'll get our wire. Bring back up in here so it's nice and neat. There's our wire going in nice and neat. So we'll find our uh, white and neutral. Okay, so these wires are okay going over here. They're not too bad. So we'll change this double pole 20 to the new style breaker. Take that out. We'll take our wires off the screws. This is for an electric uh, heater, baseboard heater. And that older style breaker has the regular screws in it. The new one has the uh, these screws. So we'll put our wires in the hole here. It's in the off position. There it is. Now I'll take this one out. Well, we have a bunch of wire here on this. Okay, so this is our new one here. We're going to make this wire nice and neat in the panel here. It's all kind of sloppy. See how they left a lot of uh, bare... So we're going to take the spare wire, we're going to pull the paper off of here, we're going to put it back in, and we will push it back to the back of the box like this, and we'll make our bend where we're going to go into the bar here. in like this, tighten it 
it up. It's just nice and neat. Okay, we'll put our new style breaker in. It has the this one here. So we're gonna take our black and white. Now it doesn't matter. This is an example where the black where the white wire would be live. So we'll bring it up and we'll bend it over where it's gonna go into our breaker and have it go in straight. that there and we'll cut it right here we'll strip with our number 10 hole here use our square screwdriver after our breaker is off push the wire in make sure it's in all the way Okay, now we'll do the same with our white wire. We'll bring it up and we'll bend it over where it's going to go into our breaker like this, have it nice and straight. Okay, it's going to go like that. So we'll take our number 10 hole, strip it. Flip our hole up. Just make sure it's in a hole all the way, tighten it up. Then we'll take our cutters and we'll cut all this orange debris off of the jacket from the wire there so it's all nice and neat. Now this breaker is still good so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that's off. We'll just open these terminals up. And they got a big mess of slack up here, so we're going to take and we're going to make this neater here. Okay, the wire comes down here, so we're going to make our bend here to go to the breaker. So I'll strip it. Now this breaker is still good, so I'm going to strip it here. in all the way, it's in the slot there, okay there's one, this is another example of where you could find a white wire live, so we'll bend our wire over, okay so I'll make my bend up a little bit higher here. Strip it out right here. Okay, so we'll make sure our wires are nice and flat and they're neat here. So that is how to uh, neaten up a panel here in the country I was born in. We use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors, however you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220, 240 volt circuit, such as this here, where these are baseboard heaters, and that's a water heater. And also in a switch loop, you may find the white live. Peace. Thanks for watching.